What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Tunnel Vision, and we back for another one. So the WBC man up to their fuckery. But before that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the videos. So Lomachenko, for whatever reason, has been moved up, has been given, and has accepted the quote franchise belt. Uh, the same designation that Canelo Alvarez, the same bullshit that Canelo Alvarez has. Canelo Al um, Alvarez has. Um, what does it mean? I guess to some people, it's looking at it as if it's a situation where he's able to duck um, David uh, Haney, Devin Haney. But, I mean, reality is he wasn't going to fight him anyway. But this is the thing, though, that I don't know if most people, other people have realized. Just like Canelo Alvarez, if he was to come back right down to 160 and he was to beat, um, what the hell's his name? And he was to beat Golovkin. And he was even to fight Demetrius Andres. He would not be undisputed. Because he doesn't have the regular WBC belt anymore. He would have to get that. Charlo has that belt now. When he got that franchise belt, he basically was stripped of the WBC. The real belt. The franchise belt is not a real belt. A franchise belt, if you have that, it's not something that you can use, lose. Somebody could knock out Lomachenko. He doesn't lose that belt. Even though he got knocked out, he still keeps that belt. You can't win it versus there's no way of winning it. So it's not a real belt. Which means if he fights the winner of the Teofimo Lopez versus Kome, whoever he, you know, when he beats that person, he's not undisputed. He can't claim to be undisputed. In order to be undisputed, he's going to have to go fight Devin, Devin Haney. Because right now, he only has, he no longer basically has three belts. He has two belts. He basically gave one of those belts up. He only has two belts. That he has that, a franchise designation. It doesn't mean anything. Because there's no way of taking that from someone. You beat that person, you do not lose that belt. It's not even a divisional belt. It's not like, oh, okay, you're the franchise champion. And if you drop down, whatever... You don't have that, but no, you're just a franchise champion. You can't lose it. No one can take it from you. It can't be taken from you. I haven't even. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's crazy that, you know, now this man's at a certain particular situation. And now where there's some serious competition that he has to face. They're trying to find ways to, 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 to avoid that. That man right there is a real challenge. A challenge that he should be taking on next because he's looking at becoming undisputed, but not for his next bout. His next bout, he's supposed to be fighting some weird kid from Australia that nobody knows. That's who he's supposed to be fighting. They're talking about maybe him doing it in Australia. That's supposed to be his next fight. Instead of doing that, what he should have been doing was fighting his mandatory Devin Haney. That's who he should have been fighting. In a big, huge fight, there would be a big clash that you could do on ESPN, or I'm sure DAZN would pay him good money to go do it on DAZN. Just like they paid Ramirez good money to go and fight Hooker on DAZN. Just like they're paying Kovalev, who's also an ESPN fighter and is a top-ranked fighter, co-promoted fighter, that's fighting Canelo Alvarez on DAZN. I'm sure they would pay Lomachenko good money to go and fight Devin Haney next. And you can't say, and Rob Aaron was talking about, oh, he's inexperienced, this and that. Devin Haney would have been the favorite against Campbell. Devin Haney would have been the favorite against the guy he fought before that. Devin Haney would be the favorite against the guy that he's fighting in Australia. Devin Haney would be a favored versus the winner of Teofimo Lopez versus Kome. So you can't go by that whole, oh, he's an experienced BS. You know, he's earned a spot. And Lomachenko should be taken on against those top-tier competition. Tank is also at 135 pounds. And after he fights Gamboa, after that, you, you know, his, his fight against the IBF champion, I can't even call it a fight for Undisputed anymore. A WA is probably going to mandate for him to fight, for him to fight um, Tank Davis. So is he going to fight Tank Davis or is he going to drop that belt or is he just going to drop it and move down? Or is he going to fight Tank Davis at 135 pounds? 
You know, because they said, hey, we want Lomachenko in 2020. And we have to believe them because they also said that, yo, when it came to, uh, to Tevin Farmer, as soon as that zone deal's over, we're going to make him an offer. We're not going to the zone, but we're going to make him an offer. As soon as that zone deal was done, they made him an offer. Pay per view bout, $2 million purse. Tevin Farmer turned that down to go fight God knows who, God knows where. I guess Diaz, somebody that Gary Russell already beat at 126 pounds. But, okay. <laughs> when you could be fighting Tank on pay-per-view. It is what it is. That's a choice that he made. But it just needs to be understood. Understood. It needs to be made very, very clear. Lomachenko fights the winner of Teofimo versus Kome. It is not for undisputed. Because he no longer has a WBC belt. And that franchise designation, that's not a real freaking belt. You cannot win it. You can't win it. If it's impossible for you to win something, it's not a real belt. So he cannot be undisputed when he fights against the IBF champion. He has to fight Devin Haney, the WBC champion, in order to be that. I don't know why the WBC is doing all this bullshit, but it's a disgrace and it's a travesty to the sport. And this bullshit, it's getting to the point where these belts literally mean nothing. Nothing. That's why even when it comes to, 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 to Wilder, fuck the undisputed bullshit. Ruiz beats, um, what's the name again? Anthony Joshua again. While it takes care of his business against Ortiz, if you can pay for his separate side money, do that. If not, you go face Fury, whatever, whoever wants to drop a belt, drop a belt, you know, or whatever. Ruiz just needs to under, make a decision. Are you going to fight the IBF mandatory? Are you going to fight the WBA mandatory? Probably I would fight the WBA mandatory because I think Usyk is a bigger fight. So let's see if he really is about that life where all of a sudden he realizes, uh-oh, I mean the WBO. When he realizes, oh oh, this guy's not dropping this belt and I'm going to have to fight him. Let's see if he really does that. Do that on pay-per-view, on Fox, make yourself some bread. Then go fight Wesco Wilder to see who the best heavyweight in the, in, in the world is. Fuck that whole disputed, undisputed bullshit. Because at this point, the belts, they don't, that's getting to a point where they don't mean much. But that franchise shit, that man is not undisputed with that belt. Because it's not a real belt. It's like Canelo Alvarez. He's a one title. He owes a title. A WBA title. That's it. He does not hold any IBF title. At all. I think does he hold the WBO too? No he doesn't. Demetrius Andres holds that. He's not a unified champion. He just has a WBA belt. Charlo owns the WBC. So. Do you want to give him that? I guess it is what it is. But. I don't even know what to think about it, man. Whatever. Like, subscribe, share. I'm out.